Good morning ladies, my name is Bella and I'm going to lead today's discussion. Now before we start, can you please introduce yourselves? My name is Angie. My name is Tasha. My name is Joanna. And my name is Deb. Excellent! So let me start by saying welcome. And today's topic of discussion is closing the gap between the rich and the poor in developing countries. Well, let's say Indonesia. So, who like to go first? Miss Angie? Okay, I'll start. So, poverty is a severe problem in Indonesia. There are about 9.8% of poverty in Indonesia. And there are many people who live above the line of poverty and vulnerably to fall into poverty. According to a statistic data, there are about 28 million Indonesians that live 293,000 rupiah per month. True. With such small income, the minimum average spending of Indonesian for daily basis is 500,000 rupiah a month. Minimum. That means there are 28 million people who are living 50% under the minimum average cost per month. While, on the other hand, the rich might spend up to 500,000 rupiah in a couple of days. Shouldn't the rich help the poor? Any thoughts? Must it become an obligation for the rich to help the poor? Rich people also work hard for their income. It is what they deserve. I believe the government is the one that should be responsible for the well-being of the poor people. Well, what do you think, Miss Joanna? I strongly agree. I think it is the government's task to reduce income inequality through a wide range of measures, including social spending and progressive taxation. Hmm, you're right, but how will the government be able to cover the shortage of all poor? Isn't it impossible? Well, at least they could give free health protection and stuff to minimize the poor spending. Yes, that might help, but will it be enough? It is clear, the rich are getting a big break on their taxes and should be paying more. The idea is to use the tax money to fund programs like public education that could give everyone a fair shot at success in this economic condition. Okay, well, great. I can see that we all have reached to a decision. After the long discussion, I can conclude that each and every one of us are very concerned about the high poverty rate in Indonesia. And thus, it is not the rich people's obligation to help us close the gap between the rich and the poor, but it's definitely the government's. Though, the government will not be able to cover this shortage alone. Well, in that case, giving social and health protection, giving taxation policies, labor rights, and minimum wages might be the perfect solution to reduce these gaps in Indonesia. Also, we have reached to the end of our discussion and first of all, I'd like to say thank you to each and every ladies who have joined me today and I'll see you next time.